I think I did okay, but let's check with Mata here. So Mata, how did I do? Okay guys, we're about to start our boot camp mission right now. So me and Ali are excited because we're both actually in the boot camp ourselves. And uh, maybe we'll show you a few clips here and there and uh, let's hope we get certified and registered. All right, talk to you in a bit. All right. Okay guys, I just finished boot camp myself and Ali and I think I did okay, but let's check with Mara here. So Mara, how did I do? Yes, it was pretty much amazing. Okay. And uh, I think successful. So. Nice. Now you're officially a hobbyist certified operator. Perfect. I'm excited about that. So this is mine right here? Yes. All right guys, there you go. It's official. So the, uh, the procedures are, I, 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 Obviously, we experienced it, we went through it, we went through the boot camp, the training, and everything else. But now, after you receive this document, there's also a registration process. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? How easy it is, and what do you have to do? Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick um, preview on how the registration will happen. Okay. So, this is this, uh, the, the permit that the operator will have to take from BCA after the registration with them. Okay, that's the okay. final permit. The final permit. Okay. Make sure that no DCA, no DCA registration, no permit. Okay. The next thing is you have to go to DCA website. Okay. Along with that is you have to create your DCA account plugin where okay. you have to register all your email, Emirates ID, passport, residence visa if you're uh, non-local ones. Okay. Once it's all successful, then you have to log in. Okay. Login is where you have to register yourself and your drone with this certificate. Nice. Is that, right. Does it have a specific number, a unique number? Um, there is none, but you mm -hmm. have to um, upload, upload your certificate along with your serial drone serial number. Okay, gotcha. So with yours, it depends what type of, of course, um, drone you have. Yeah. So you have to log in all the details and um, input your name according to what your permit has to be appeared after. Um, what else? Uh, on the lower below sections where you have to upload all your documents, residence visa, Emirates ID, passport, your certificate of course, and the details of your job. Okay. So it, you will be asked what's the manufacturer. So let's say if you have DJI, you have to put DJI type of the drone which is Mavic Air okay. and your serial number. Nice. As well you have to upload your uh, drone pictures, the whole pictures and the serial number that is inside of the drone itself. Okay, when you remove the battery, yes. it's in there. Okay. But I just have to highlight then that if you choose a category, you have to make sure that you have to choose a proper category of your certificate. Okay. There is an option where government, commercial, hobbyist, and you know, professional if you have one. Okay. So since you're a hobbyist, you have to choose the hobbyist. Hobbyist. Submit, it will take approximately one day for them to approve. Okay. Okay. And then you have to log in after one day. If it's approved or it shows approved, it means your permit is ready to pick up from DCAA office. Okay. And yep. where uh, DCAA is located? DCAA located in uh, Dubai Airport, Terminal okay. 1 arrival area. Perfect. Offices okay. area. And then you said go to a website for DCAA. What is that website? Uh, website is um, the DCA website, of course, the Dubai Civil Aviation website. Yeah. So how do you get there? What's the address? The actual www? Well, now that you have your certificate, okay. upon uh, me handing over to you, I will email you the soft copy. Okay. So along with the soft copy will be the procedure from yeah. our side on how to register with DCAA. So this is the same file that I'll be emailing to you. It will show us exactly what's the steps. Okay, so, so go to DCAA. So the website is actually www.dcaa.gov.ae. That's correct. Okay. And next, go to login section. When you go to the login section, you will see the register. You have to register first if you don't have any DCAA account. Okay. Okay. So you have to register. That will show you the customer registration next. So you have to choose individual. Okay. Once you click the individual, Lower uh, below on that will be all the details as you know a customer your login your username and so on and so forth. Gotcha. All information done. Click submit. That will goes to your email the activation link in order for you to activate your uh, username and password. 
Right. So click the activation link. Once it's activated, go back to the login section. And of course, you have to log in. Correct? So once you've logged in, that will go to your portal, to your mm -hmm. own account. That will says here somewhere, which is eSAN or whatever your mm -hmm. username is. Yeah. So go to eService, our pass registration, and then that will show up this um, portal, which will show apply now. Okay. So you have to click the apply now, and that will go to you uh, register yourself and your drone by this section. That's what I'm saying. You have to choose hobbyist if you're applying for a hobbyist. Okay. So, so to simplify it, basically, they, uh, after the certificate, you have to register with DCAA. And the way to do that is you, get a, you go to dcaa.ae.gov. Uh, and uh, from there, you follow the instructions and you fill in the information. And then you would get it 24 hours, possibly after, uh, after yes. approval. Well, provided that you have given all the information. Proper part. information. Yeah, you uploaded the documents, passport information, everything else. Great. All right. And then from there, uh, you're good to fly, right? And from there, if it shows approved and you have the permit, you're good to fly. You're good as to fly. As a hobbyist. As a hobbyist. Okay. And then uh, just, just one last question about the flying part. So there are certain areas where we can fly. There's green zones and red zones. Uh, just sticking primarily to DCAA, just to keep it simple for the yeah. understanding of people. Um, the, a hobbyist can fly in areas that are neutral without color. Is yes. that correct? So not green, not red. Not green, not red. So basically, or technically, they can only fly outside the green zones and the red zones. Outside green zones and red zones, that's what we look at. Okay. Yeah. And then for a tourist, if a tourist wants to come and visit Dubai and wants to fly his drone, there are simple procedures that they, they should follow. Is that right? Yes. Uh, they don't need to do all of this procedure where they come here and get certified. Okay. They can just easily email uh, safety, uh, what is this, safety at dca.gov.ae okay. where uh, they will require for them to email all those documents. Okay. If it's all good, then they will easily email back the permit, temporary permit as a tourist. And is there a time frame for that temporary permit? Um, I think uh, approximately same, one day approval. No, no, is there, t is there an expiry, I mean? No, uh, yeah, there is, for sure. So, yes. how, so is it one month, is it two months? Uh, According to the, uh, I mean, whatever the, the permitted time that will be coming here. For okay, so it's based on their travel time. Yeah. Okay, and then do you know what the fees are on the tours? No, it's, okay. for, it's a free of charge. Free of charge. Yeah. That's excellent. Okay, that's good, actually, that's good information. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited and um, can't wait to go and uh, fly my drone. Yes. All right, thank you for your time and thank you for helping me achieve one of my goals. Oh. Okay guys, thanks again for tagging along. That's gonna do it for us here today. We're, cert we're registered and we're good to go. Now, one very important thing. If you like this video, give me a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm gonna list in the description down below all the information about Senate Academy and how you can get registered and how you, uh, for to if you're a tourist visiting Dubai, what you could do to bring your drone and how you can fly it. I'm gonna put that information down below. So again, guys, drones have become big in, in this day and age. So what we wanna do is we wanna keep doing more activities, more fun things with drones and with Senate Academy. So again, thank you again. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.